Hello friends, we'll be discussing an illustration which will be related to the last case studies of this specific chapter, rather issue of debentures. <music> Now, in the previous problems, we have understood with different case studies what we'll be doing through. Like every concept has been made understand in terms of oversubscription, in case of undersubscription, both being merged with pro rata or rather discount, issue of shares at par premium, etc., has been taught. Now, this is the last problem that we'll be dealing with, and it will have a mixture of combinations. Basically, if oversubscription is there, it will have pro rata along with it. If under subscription is there, we'll figure out some discount problem on it. And one of the case studies will have certain par or premium or regular discount issues in that specific question itself. So when we have to discuss about this, we'll go through a full fledged sum based on all the possibilities that we have learned or rather that we are going to learn in the near future of this specific chapter, like issue of debentures, for collateral security will be the upcoming topic issue of debentures of assets or rather for consideration other than cash which you have already dealt with or rather something as an example has been mentioned so let's go through these case studies and understand what exactly we need to do in these kind of problems let's start with the first case study details here now while we are discussing there will be four case studies that will be discussing in this specific illustration and it will be a full fledged sum so this will be like a gist of all the problems that we have done in the earlier part of these videos so let us go with the case one first Now the case one details have been mentioned. It is just a partial detail that has been mentioned. So let me explain that first to you. It is related to ABC limited here who issued 9,006% debentures in the first case of rupees 100 at rupees 120. That means 20 rupees premium. Now this 120 was payable in the following format. Application it took around 20 rupees allotment. It took around 60 rupees which includes the premium as well as capital And the final call took around 40 rupees Now the subscriptions that they received was for 11,000 which was completely allotted as per the pro rata phase That means 11,000 debenture applications got allotment of 9,000 debentures This is what they mean to say now. Let's go on to the next part of the question Now, the question also states certain different pointers here. Mr. X, who was allotted 500 debentures, he paid the final call money at the time of allotment itself. That means when allotment was called up, he paid the final call money in advance. So here, instead of calls in arrears, we have one part where we have calls in advance now. Now, the other question or rather the other phase of that question states that Mr. Y defaulted on the final call payment which was for 600 debentures here. We have to pass the journal entries and we have to show the balance sheet as well while this working is on. Now this is case 1. Let's go on to case 2 here. Now the next case study refers to Alpha Limited Corporation who issued 11,009% debentures of rupees 100 at rupees 97 payable as follows. That means in this case there is an issue at discount here. The payable amount goes like on application they are taking 20 rupees 
on allotment they are taking rupees 50 which includes or rather which has been after the discount taken into consideration of 3 rupees and the final call value comes to 27 rupees that has been mentioned here now let's go on to the next phase where subscription is a part of this question Now, the question also states that we received a subscription for 10,500, we issued 11,000. However, we received a subscription of 10,500 on this issue and there were two defaulters here. Mr. Bong failed on the allotment and final call and Mr. Chang failed on the final call itself. Now, the question here will also mention the details of the number of shares. Both these shareholders failed on 500 value each that means both the debenture holders had around 500 debentures with them so mr bong failed on 500 debentures of allotment and final call and mr chang failed on 500 debentures of final call itself we have to prepare the journals and the balance sheet here so this will be the case two details Now, the case 3 details will have or rather will consist of information whereby debentures are being issued in terms of assets being purchased. This will be a partial issue and partial asset purchase here. So, let's start with that part. Now, the next case or rather the third case refers to XFL India Limited. That means this company has debentures of 50,000 debentures or rather 50,000 quantity of debentures of 100 each. Now, they purchased the land worth rupees 20 lakhs and they made three-fourth of the payment by issuing debentures while the balance was paid off in cash. Now, after issuing three-fourth of debentures, whatever balance has been left, that specific thing was paid out or rather kept open for subscriptions here. All the money or rather the total 100 rupees were divided into two sections only, application and allotment. All these debentures were duly subscribed, all these money were duly received on time and after that, we went ahead and we have to prepare the journal entries and balance sheet. So this is all the case study three all about. Now when it comes to case four, it will be a relatively simple problem which will have details of a simple issue of debentures. Now in the first three case studies, we have covered maximum of our detrimentals or rather maximum of our project that we had in terms of issue of debentures it covered oversubscription pro rata discount par premium and it also covered under subscription so majority of it has been covered here now the next one will be a complete simple problem that will be the case four so let's read it out or rather let's write it down Now the case 4 has also been mentioned, it refers to Mrs. J.M. Motors. 
they issued 30,000 7% debentures of Rs. 100 each. Now, this amount was payable as follows. On application 20, on allotment and final call, Rs. 40 each. Now, the subscription they received was for 90,000 shares. Out of which they refunded 40,000 instantly. 15,000 were allotted as full debentures of 15,000 and the balance in pro rata terms. They have also mentioned that all the money was duly received. Now we have to pass the journal entries and balance sheet for these. So this is the basic case study that we have or rather this is the basic case study that we need to discuss when it comes to all these four refresher cases that we have done for this specific last illustration. So let's start with each and every case study. Let's begin with case one first. Now for case one journal entry format has been prepared. Let's start with the case details of case one first. Now in case one they had issued 9000 debentures but the subscription that they received was for 11,000. So we'll first pass the entry for receipt of 11,000 debentures with the narration related to it. Now here the application has been received for 11,000 application money is 20 so 11,000 multiplied by 20 will give you the amount of total debentures received. So the first entry has been passed where we have mentioned bank account debit to debenture application 2,20,000 is the amount. Narration has been mentioned that being received of application money on debentures. Now the next part is to transfer the application money to debenture capital or rather move it related to that. So let's start with that entry now. Now the next step that we'll be doing is transferring the application money to debenture capital. But make sure you're transferring 11,000 application money and not 9,000. So while passing this entry, you have to put the additional 2000 application money that you have received, which will be for debenture allotment purposes. So we'll pass that entry accordingly. Let's pass that entry now. Now when it comes to debenture application, you have received a total of 2,20,000. Ideally, you should have received total of 9,000 multiplied by 20, which will give you somewhere around 1,80,000 itself. You have received certain amount in addition that will be a part of debenture allotment. So we'll bifurcate it according to that. So that entry has been also passed whereby debenture application account has been debited with 2,20,000 to 6% debenture which has total of 9,000 multiplied by 20 only application amount which refers to 1,80,000 has been also mentioned and the difference between both of them is 40,000 which will be a part of debenture allotment. Now the next entry will refer to due of allotment money. Let's pass that entry now. Now, while you're passing the venture allotment entry, make sure that you understand that there is certain amount of premium. Now, if 60 rupees is being taken on allotment money out of which 20 rupees is the premium, that means capital will be only 40 rupees. So security premium will also be a part of this specific entry. So the entry has been also mentioned now in terms of allotment we are totally expecting 5,40,000 here out of which 3,60,000 refers to the capital amount and 1,80,000 refers to the premium that we are supposed to calculate or take as part of security premium being debentures issued on premium here. Now 
The next entry that was supposed to pass here is the receipt of allotment money whereby there will be certain calls in arrears as well. So let's try and mention that out. Now again in the question it was mentioned that Mr. X who paid up final allotment money as well that means in terms of allotment money he paid the allotment money for sure but he paid the final call money as well for 500 shares or 500 debentures. So we have to mention that calls in advance as well and that will be an asset for us. So let's mention that or rather we'll mention that in the entry itself here. Let's start or figure out how to pass this entry. So the entry that has been passed here is bank account debit to debenture allotment 5,40,000 and addition to that we have received certain calls in advance for 500 debentures of rupees 40 each we have mentioned that 20,000 also on the credit side so in total we have received not 5,40,000 but 5,60,000 here let's mention the narration now. Now that the narration has been mentioned, let's go on to the next phase of the entry which will refer to final call due. Now the next entry that will be passing here is 9000 debentures final call money due. Now the next entry that we have passed here is final call due that means whatever amount we are going to mention here has been already deducted or rather we can say that this specific amount is being expected out of the final call but as we know there are certain calls in advance there are certain calls in areas which will also be a part of the next entry hence we'll mention the next entry that is received of final call which will be apparently the last entry for case one. Let's start with that. So the entry that we mentioned here is bank account debit, calls in arrears account debit, calls in advance account debit to debenture final call. In debenture final call, we are expecting somewhere around 3,60,000 but we are not supposed to receive that much of money because there are certain calls in arrears that we have figured out, there are certain adjustments that we need to make sure or which has to be done. So we'll make sure entry is passed according to that. Let's start with that part. Now the total amount that was supposed to receive on final call is 3,60,000 out of which 20,000 is calls in advance, 24,000 is calls in arrears, we are not going to receive both these amounts so whatever is left is the amount that we received in our bank account. Now the entry has been mentioned, the narration has been mentioned. Now there is one simple thing that we haven't told you in this illustration. Rather when we have to discuss about allotment money, do you remember in the question we have figured out that there was certain allotment money that we have received in application for 40,000. In the entry if you see for receipt of allotment we haven't passed that entry. The reason being we want to show you how exactly if certain entry is missed out by you while making certain details or if you miss on certain calculations basically because you are dealing with multiple choice questions whereby you have to do the calculations without passing the entries then in such cases how that allotment can be adjusted or can be taken care while the balance sheet is prepared hence we waited until the last entry could be completed now when it's time to prepare the balance sheet we'll show you how exactly the calculation will go and the balance sheet will tally for sure so let's start with the preparation of balance sheet now now the balance sheet format has been prepared we'll go ahead and start with the preparation of other details of the balance sheet 
first of all we'll mention the debenture capital account so let's start with that so 6% debenture capital has been mentioned as 9 lakh rupees which we have already cleared and clarified after which we are going to subtract the calls in arrears so let's subtract that amount so total of 8 lakh 76 thousand is the 6% debenture capital that we have with us now we'll mention the securities premium amount which has been mentioned as 1 lakh 80 thousand here now we'll mention the bank account details but wherever bank account total has been mentioned out of that amount you will subtract the debenture allotment money because that is something that you have adjusted in terms of application money which was received but you haven't calculated that same thing while mentioning that in the bank account entry that means while the entry was mentioned for receipt of allotment ideally the bank balance should have been a little less because 40,000 wasn't added in it had it been added it would have gone down but as it wasn't added hence that specific thing has been mentioned there so this specific thing will be subtracted from that bank balance so let's figure out the asset side of it now so ideally right now the total balance in the bank account comes to 10 lakh 96 thousand but this is inclusive of the allotment money that we haven't considered so while considering that we have to subtract that much of amount and that will give you the exact bank value or rather exact balance in the bank account that should be so this gives you the total of 10 lakh 56 thousand in the outer column now let's see whether the liability side is equivalent to the asset side or not if that is there then the question seems to be correct or rather the answer to this question or case study one refers to be correct let's figure out the tally of liability side now so 8 lakh 76 thousand plus 1 lakh 80 thousand will give you a total of 10 lakh 56 thousand which is the total of the liability side mentioned as cleared so here we complete the case one details including the journal entries and the balance sheet now we'll move on to case two details of it now the case two details will have journal entries for 11,000 received and here or rather when we talk about 11,000 issue of debentures however the receipt was 10,500 which were issued at discount so the first entry that will be passed here will be received of application money on 10,500 debentures so we'll start with that entry first now that we are starting off with the case two journal entries the first entry that we'll be passing here is the receipt of application money so let's start with that now this would be for 10,500 debentures, although the issue was for 11,000 debentures here. That gives you an amount of 2,10,000, which will be recorded on the outer columns or rather the amount columns here. Now, whatever application money we have received here, as there is no oversubscription, this whole amount will be transferred to the debenture account. So the next entry will be application money being transferred to the debenture account itself. Let's start with that. So the whole amount of 2,10,000 will be moved as that is the complete application money or rather that is completely related to the pure application money itself. Now, after this entry has been passed, the next entry will refer to allotment due. So, we'll mention that thing, taking into consideration whatever details have been mentioned. Also, in this question, it was referred that 100 rupees debentures is being shared out at 97 rupees. That means 3 rupees discount has to be incorporated along with the allotment money, which has been mentioned as 53 rupees. So, or rather 50 rupees. 53 is the total inclusive of 3 rupees discount in it. So whenever you are mentioning the debenture allotment money, that will have discount also as a part of this specifications. So let's mention that.
Now, the entry has been mentioned as discount on debenture account debit, debenture allotment account debit to 9% debenture. 9% debenture will have a total of 53 rupees multiplied by the total number of allotted shares that is 10,500 here. Rest, the difference will be 50 and 3 which will be allotted according to the discount of 3 rupees and 50 rupees of allotment money that we are expecting here. So, let's mention that. So, total of 9% debenture account entry will be or rather the amount will be 5,56,500 which has been mentioned. Now, this 5,56,000 will be then further segregated into capital amount and the discount amount. So, let's segregate that and mention the amount on the debit side here. So, 5,25,000 is the amount that we have mentioned and 35,500 is the amount of discount. Let's mention the narration. Now, the question also states that while the receipt of allotment happened, Mr. Bong failed on allotment and final call and Mr. Chang failed only on final call. So, while receiving this amount on allotment, we'll be mentioning only the calls in arrears here and the amount that we're expecting on allotment is 5,25,000. Don't consider it as 5,56,500 because that is inclusive of discount. Hence, discount as we are not expecting, we won't receive it. Let's pass the received entry here. Now, the call scenarios were a total of 500 shares. Both Bong and Chang had a total of 500 shares each. So, if out of 5,25,000, 25,000 we are not receiving as call scenarios, that means in our bank account it will be 5 lakh rupees. Let's mention that amount there. So now that allotment has been completed, now it's turn to mention the final call due entry and the received entry. So let's pass those entries now. Now the next entry that we'll be passing is the final call due. So let's pass that entry. So the entry has been passed that means 2,83,500 is the expected amount of the final call because 10,500 debentures multiplied by 27 rupees on the final call has been mentioned here. Let's mention the narration post which we'll go ahead with the received entry there. Now. The next entry will refer to receipt of final call which will have calls in arrears not for 500 shares but for 1000 shares or rather 1000 debentures because Bong and Chang both failed on that payment and each had 500 debentures in their hand. So, the actual call scenarios would be 27,000, the expected amount is 2,83,500. So, the balance that has been mentioned is 2,56,500 which has been clearly confirmed or rather mentioned in this amount column. Let's pass the narration here post which we'll go ahead and prepare the balance sheet of this case. Now that all the entries have been passed, we have figured out how much is the call scenarios, how much is the debenture capital. Now it's time to prepare the balance sheet here as this will mark the closure of case 2 for this illustration. Now the first thing that we'll be doing is mentioning the bank balance or asset side total. Let's mention that. So the bank account total has been mentioned as 9,66,500. Again discount on issue of debentures is a miscellaneous expenditure and is a part of asset side. So we'll mention that as well here.
so 31,500 has been mentioned here the next step is to go ahead and figure out the total debenture balance after segregating the calls in arrears there so total debenture capital that has been mentioned in the inner column is 10,50,000 but there are certain calls in arrears so we'll mention that as well after segregating it now that all the details have been mentioned here it's time to figure out the balance sheet tally here that means total of liability side and asset side So the total of 9,98,000 is the final tally of the balance sheet that we have in place right now. So this marks the closure of case 2. Now it's time to move to case 3 about certain details whereby we have already instructed or rather we have already discussed about the question. So let's move on to case 3 now. Now the case 3 refers to two scenarios here. First, there's a purchase of asset, land, machinery, whatever it is. The next part is making the payment there and then balance amount being subscribed here or rather given for open subscription so all these things have to be taken as a part of one question itself so we'll first pass the entry for procurement or purchase of this asset now XFL India Limited, they purchased the land for 20 lakhs is what they have mentioned here. The payment was done in a certain scenario. That means three-fourth of the payment was made via issue of debentures and the one-fourth pending payment was done via issuing cash or bank account. So, entry will be land account debit to 10% debentures account to bank account. This has been mentioned. Let us mention the amount of the total land cost that is 20 lakh rupees. Now, the three fourth of the payment has been done via debentures. That means three fourth of 20 lakh will be 15 lakh rupees, which has been done by issuing debentures worth of that amount. So, that means it is very clear and evident that the balance 5 lakh has been paid by cash. So, the entry has been mentioned, amount has been mentioned. Now, let's mention the narration there. Now, before you could mention the narration, also would like to inform you that if you have to figure out how many debentures has been issued here, then it is very clear. 15,000 debentures because 15 lakh rupees can be only done or rather can be only given if the face value of the debenture is 100 rupees which gives you a total of here being 1,000 or rather 15,000 shares or debentures being issued. That means 15,000 multiplied by 100 will give you a total of 15 lakh rupees. So that's clear that 15,000 10% debentures of rupees 100 each has been issued for making the payment. 50,000 is the limit of debentures what they had out of which 15,000 has been already gone. So the question also states that rest balance debentures were sent out for subscription here. That means 35,000 debentures of 10% were issued at rupees 100 here, which has been mentioned, application being 50, allotment being 50 rupees. So, we'll pass the entry for receipt of application here. Now, when it comes to receipt of application, 35,000 multiplied by 50 is the application receipt. That means you have received somewhere around 17,50,000 total value. Now, the application entry has been mentioned and the narration has been also mentioned here. Now, after this application, we're supposed to transfer this to the debenture account. So, let's mention it there. So this application money of 17,50,000 has been moved to 10% debenture account which has been clearly mentioned here. Now we'll mention the narration down there. Now the next entry will refer to allotment due as there is no premium, no discount. Hence, do not mention any kind of discount or premium in this question or rather in this entry. It's a simple entry which is related to allotment due. Let's pass this entry now.
Now, this entry will again refer to 17,50,000 because it's the same application amount itself. That means application also took 50. Allotment is also taking 50 here. So, allotment due entry has been passed. The next entry will refer to receipt of or rather receipt of this complete allotment money as there are no calls in errors because the question specifically mentioned or rather this case specifically mentioned that all the money was duly received. Hence, there is no lookout or no looking behind here. Let's pass the entry then. Now, the next entry will refer to receipt of allotment money. So, let's pass that entry here. So bank account debit to debenture allotment 17,50,000 has been mentioned. Ideally, the illustration journal entries gets completed here. But there is one thing that we would like to update you. If you look at the entries which has been passed for asset being purchased and issue of debentures being done, we still need to mention one entry which is an additional entry which will refer to application and allotment of that specific thing. That means bank account debit to receipt of that application money or rather this application being transferred to that specific thing has to be mentioned here. In case if it is not mentioned it is well and fine because you have already mentioned the debenture account which shows the credit of that specific thing. In or rather if and only if required that entry can be also moved to specifications related to application and allotment only in the case if it is required else it is absolutely fine to keep it like that. Now, we'll move on to the balance sheet of this specific case. Now, as there was an asset that was purchased, we'll mention that first thing on the asset side, that is land. The next thing we'll be mentioning is the bank account details. So, total of bank account comes to 30 lakh, 17 lakh 50 thousand for application and allotment here and 5 lakh being the cash payment done for the procurement of asset. That gives you a total of 30 lakh which has been mentioned. So, that brings you the total of asset side let's move on to the liability side here which will show the debentures account debenture calculation becomes very easy because all the 50,000 debentures have been issued at rupees 100 itself so 50,000 multiplied by 100 will give you a total of 50 lakh rupees which is the debenture capital which has been mentioned so let's mention that directly Now here the total of 50 lakh is mentioned is because there is no calls in areas that has been mentioned. Hence liability side has been completed. Now it's time to figure out what is the total of liabilities and assets here. So case 3 balance sheet has been prepared. 50 lakh is the total of balance sheet both liability and asset is tallying up. So case 3 of this illustration has been done. We'll now move on to the total of last case that is case 4 for journal entries and balance sheet as well. So let's start with case 4 which is the last case of this illustration. Now when it comes to case 4 that is a simple problem that we have in terms of the total applications that we have received. So before we could go ahead, as you know, there is a heavy prorata that has to be done here. Let's do that working first. Now, the subscription or rather the issue was for 30,007% debentures, but we have received subscription for 90,000. So we'll do the working according to that. So the first category refers to 40,000 debentures being completely refunded here. So let's mention that. Now apart from that 40,000, the next category refers to 15,000 debentures being fully allotted here. Now 
the next category will refer to whatever balance shares have been left out of 90,000 after rejecting 40,000 after giving 15,000 full allotment that means 55,000 has been taken care of what is left more will be then allotted for the balance allotment that can be done so we have a slot of 15,000 left that is the only thing that can be given here so we have to take the applications of that many things and whatever balance has been left that means 90,000 minus 55,000 will give you the balance that can be adjusted against 15,000 so let's mention that that is the last category of prorata here So that means 35,000 shareholders were allotted 15,000 shares. Excess amount here will be taken care in terms of the total allotment that can be received. Let's mention that amount as well. So basically 35,000 were allotted 15,000. What is the difference between them? We'll calculate that first. So 20,000 excess applications were received. Let's take the application money on it. Now, 4 lakh is the excess fund that has been mentioned. That means whenever allotment is supposed to be received, instead of receiving the complete amount on allotment which will be mentioned in due, this much amount will be subtracted and whatever is left will be taken care in the bank account. Now, this is the prorata working that we were supposed to do. Let's go on to the first entry that is received of application money. Now, the applications received were for 90,000. So, we'll mention that here. So the first entry has been passed for 18 lakh rupees which has been mentioned here as receipt of application money. Now we'll pass the entries or rather before passing the next entry we'll pass the narration for the first entry here. Now after this entry we'll go ahead and pass the refund entry or the rejected shares entry. So, 8 lakh rupees is the amount that can be rejected or that has been refunded either. Let's mention the narration. Now, we'll go on to the next set of journal entries now. Now, once the application refund has been mentioned, now it's time to mention the entry for which only application amount will be transferred to the debenture capital. So let's mention that. Now, after the refund, 18 lakh was the total amount that we had received. We have refunded 8 lakh rupees. That means we still have somewhere around 10 lakh rupees with us, which includes the excess amount of 4 lakh that we have already calculated in debenture or rather in the prorata working here. So, the total amount that we are supposed to receive only on application will be 6 lakh rupees. So, the total entry or rather total amount along with the entry has been mentioned. Let's mention the journal entries narration here. Now, after the application money is transferred, it's time to mention the allotment due entry. So, let's mention that. So, debenture allotment account debit to 7% debenture account which has been mentioned here. 
now it's time to mention or rather it's time to figure out how much amount we have to take care into consideration when the receipt happens so when it comes to allotment 30000 into 40 is the total amount that can be expected here So, allotment due entry comes to 12 lakh rupees is what we are expecting. Let's mention the entry which refers to receipt of allotment money. So, total of 12 lakh is what we are expecting. 4 lakh we have already received. So, the balance that will be left in the bank account is 8 lakh rupees. Now, after the allotment money is received, the next part goes to final call here. Let's mention that. Final call was due on 40 rupees, so that we have to take into consideration. That means final call due entry will be debenture final call account debit to 7% debenture here. So, 12 lakh is the total amount that we are expecting here. Let's mention the narration. Continuation of topic. Now that we have mentioned the final call due, it's time to mention the entry for receipt of final call. Now, the last journal entry when it comes to case 4 will refer to receipt of final call money. As there are no call scenarios, we'll expect the whole amount. So, 12 lakh has been mentioned here. Let's mention the narration. Now, the next part will be the preparation of balance sheet, which is the last part of this case study and the last part of this illustration as well. Let's prepare the balance sheet. The first account that we'll be preparing here is the bank account total. Let's mention that. Now, the total we have received in our bank account after subtracting the refund here is 30 lakh rupees. Let's mention the liability side total, which will be again very simple because there are no calls in arrears. So, whatever debentures have been issued multiplied by the face value will give you the debenture capital here. So, both the liabilities and asset total have been covered. Let's mention the tally and close this illustration. So with this, we come to the closure of this illustration and we mark the closure of this specific chapter's illustration in terms of issue of debentures for considerations or rather a normal issue of debenture itself. The next topics that we'll be covering later on will refer to collateral security and consideration other than cash. So I hope this video has given you clarity about how exactly issue of debentures can be dealt with with different kind of entries. And now I hope by far you must have understood all the journal entries and it would have been mind mapped right now with you. So thank you for watching this video. Stay tuned with Ikira and keep subscribing to Ikira.